I got my turkeys for 29 cents and I'm going to show you what I picked up this week with my grocery haul. Hey everybody, it's Amanda and today I am going to do my weekly grocery haul. Now we are doing kind of a low spend November trying to spend as little as possible, but I knew that I was going to spend money this week because this is the week where they put everything on sale for Thanksgiving and it's really a great time to stock up on some basic items. Not to mention the great prices that you get on turkey meat. I already mentioned that I got my turkey for 29 cents a pound and frankly, I knew that turkey prices were gonna be low and I had to I already have two turkeys in my freezer, one of which I'm gonna use for Thanksgiving. But I had told myself, you know, if it's like 49 cents, I'm not I'm not gonna get it. I can get meat for 50 cents a pound fairly regularly. However, 29 cents a pound, I cannot get meat at that price regularly. You can get almost nothing for 29 cents right now. So I was like, you know what? I'm gonna have to take advantage of that deal and that means that I have to, we went to Food Lion and Food Lion required that you spent $35 in order to get that 29 cents a pound turkey deal and there's a limit of two. So I got my two turkeys and I spent my $35 and I decided that I was gonna spend that $35 on some basic items that are stock up items that are really great to get this time of year. Um, I'm gonna show you all the things that I got. It's actually not very many items, but they are items that you know we do like to stock up on that can cost more and the prices on them were reasonable and we're good. So I, it, I at the very least, I'm gonna tell you right now, on my receipt it said that I saved $50.33. That's the turkeys and there was one other thing that was on sale, but. I think we did pretty good this week and uh, I'm going to show you and tell me what you think. So I don't even need to put anything on the board this week because there's just one receipt. You can see that I spent $47.52 at Food Lion and there is some of the savings but not all of it. It actually was $90 and some change. I'll show you everything. So let me show you what I got. We have the sun shining in the blinds kind of covering it up so I don't know if you can see it but here over here. The water is included and then some food items. So first of all, the water was the other thing that was on sale. And again, if I'm gonna stock up on something, water is something that we are going to use. This was actually 32 bottles on sale for $2.99, which is actually a really good deal. So I grabbed two of those just to add to our stock. Can't go wrong with water. And then I'll tell you the honest truth. The thing that I was really looking for was butter. I was really hopeful they had a good price on butter because butter prices are crazy right now. If you guys looked at them. So their butter was actually two for five, which is a pretty good deal. I'm, I have zero problem with getting uh, butter at two for five price, especially when we're trying to do a stock up. You can do better on butter prices if you catch it on a good sale. But where I live, anything under $3 is pretty good. So I grabbed four of the different butter packs and that's $10 of my purchase right there of the 35. So the other thing I decided to stock up on was cheese because it's something that I'm low on in my stock and I wanted to make sure we have extra. So I grabbed two of these 16 ounce mozzarella and one 16 ounce sharp cheddar. Well, they were $3.79 each, which works out to about $1.80, I think like $1.89 um, when, when everything is divided up for each eight ounce, because normally you get it in eight ounce. So even at Aldi, it's like $1.67, so it's about 20 cents more than the Aldi price, but considering I was able to get my turkey deal, that balanced it out more, more than enough. <laughs> so I grabbed three of those, and that was another $10, so right there, that was 20 six dollars of my 35 so i was in good shape so then there was just a few other things that we grabbed to make the 35. the first thing is eggs you guys i i guess we eat a lot of eggs i i showed the eggs that we got the last time i bought them and everybody was like how do you eat so many i have big guys in my house that work hard rick and brian can have three or four eggs for breakfast and they have that most every day you know, we don't eat cereal. <laughs> so, so they're having oatmeal, they're having eggs. We just have like a basic breakfast oftentimes. So I got three packages of 18 eggs because they did not have a bigger pack of eggs. So these were $1.39 each or 50 some eggs for 
uh, what was it, $3, no, $4.17 or something like that for all of these. So I, I feel like that was a pretty good deal and we stocked up on eggs, so we're good for a little while. I also grabbed some onions. We have a lot of cooking coming up that uses onions and I just am kind of keeping my head above water with them, so I thought that was a good thing to grab. These were $2.29, again, not the best price ever. And these are kind of small onions, um, but there are a lot of them in there. So I definitely think I can use them and that's not gonna go to waste. And then these are two things that I needed to round out my Thanksgiving meal. So first of all, we have stuffing, which I don't keep in the house because it's obviously very high carb. <laughs> so um, I did, I, you could definitely get a better deal at my discount grocery on stuffing. This was 99 cents, but I thought, you know what? I only want one. So this was reasonable to pay 99 cents for just one. And then cut yams. My husband loves yams. My mother loves yams. I'm not a huge fan of them because they fry them in brown sugar. And I just, I'm not a huge fan of sweet things, but they love it. And so we've got to have it every Thanksgiving. So this is what I grabbed. This was $2.29. So all of that was $36.99 plus tax. And that allowed me to get my turkeys. So I grabbed, because again, the goal was to get the biggest bang for my buck. I looked and tried to find the biggest turkeys I could so I could get the most meat for the least amount of money. And they're about the same price. This was $4.80. And this was $4.81. Um, there were some that were in the freezer that were like $3 and some change. So this was, these were definitely the biggest ones. You can see that they were 16.55 pounds. And this one was 16.6 pounds. And the regular price is $1.79 a pound. So they rang up like $30 each initially. And then we ended up with both of them for $10. So these are my two turkeys that I'm adding to my freezer. So again, my total after tax, I had to look at my receipt, was $47.52 and we are good and stocked. In fact, frankly, I have no idea how I'm gonna fit those two turkeys in my freezer. I'm gonna have to play a little freezer Tetris later because I also am gonna put the butter and the cheese in my freezer as well, but they're, they're easy to kind of slide in corners. The turkey's not so much. So we're gonna try to make room for those. And, uh, and so we'll have, just add that to my collection of meat. That's another 30 pounds. We're definitely putting more meat in than I have taken out this month. I th I'm pretty sure. I I'm pretty sure we have more than covered that pound wise. So, so anyway, so this was my haul. Again, trying to take advantage of the best deals. You know, I, I try not to do a, a no spend month because I feel like you miss opportunities if you do a no spend, but low spend works for us and that's what we're doing. We spent about $50 last week. This is $47.52, so we're right under the $100 mark for the entire month for our family of four, and we are stocked to the gills. So I think we're in pretty good shape. Anyway, that is it for my grocery haul this week. I hope you guys are getting really great deals for Thanksgiving. If you are, share them down in the comments below, especially if you found a really good turkey deal, because I know people are looking for good prices and they might want to go shop where you found your deal. So anyway, you all have a wonderful day. Thanks for hanging out with me, and I'll see you next time. Bye.